Hi guys, today we are making a graduation cake. But first, I'll teach you how to cover the cake with buttercream. When you have properly layered all your cakes, create your buttercream and put it on a piping bag. I use a piping bag to properly distribute my buttercream around the cake. This way, you can control the amount of buttercream you put on each layer. In a way, you can make sure that your cake will turn out straight when you have removed all the excess buttercream. Use a scraper to remove all the excess buttercream. Of course, you can use a metal, a plastic, or whatever you like, but I prefer a metal scraper. Because it's thinner and uh, more precise in my opinion, and uh, it's lighter, you can hold it for a long amount of time. If you see that there are parts that there are some holes, just uh, refill it with the buttercream again, and then scrape it to remove the excess. Always keep the buttercream bowl beside you because um, you will put the excess buttercream there when you scrape the cake. Keep on scraping your cake until you are satisfied with it. My cake is uh, a bit taller than my scraper, so I'm having a bit of a hard time with here, but uh, it's okay, we can make use of what we have because it's not nice to be just buying everything that we're going to use for one time only. But if you have tall cakes all the time, by all means, please buy. <laughs> it will make your life easier. Try to make your hand as steady as possible and as straight. Do not bend it on the side or whatever, otherwise your cake will be slanted. And then go ahead and straighten the top part of the cake as well. Covering a cake with buttercream requires patience, so just do it slowly and you will get it. Once you've done a couple of cakes, it will be so much easier. If you're liking our video tutorial for today, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'm just trying to keep my hands as steady as possible. Scrape and scrape until you're satisfied with the result. And that's how you create a sharp edge buttercream cake. Now we will move on to adding our blue color at the bottom. I have made the blue buttercream and may place it on the small piping bag. This way I'll be more precise with distributing my buttercream. I will be putting the buttercream only at the bottom of the cake. Use the same scraper and scrape it gently, but I don't want it to be thin. If you see that there are some parts that there's no buttercream, just cover it up again. I wanted the blue part to have different heights. So I'll be adding some buttercream on some parts. Yeah, I think this looks so much better. And then I'll be putting some chocolate drippings on the side. Do it slowly so that you won't mess up the other parts of the cake. It's a bit thicker than I want it to be, 
I'm just going to thin it out a little bit. This is a trick that I have learned before. But this will only work if your chocolate is not too thick or not too thin. So it also depends on how you mix your chocolate. Now this looks good to me. I'm now going to cover the whole chocolate with gold edible. Be careful not to paint over the other parts of the cake. To create this edible gold, I mix edible gold dust and uh, with vodka or oil. Whatever you prefer because gold and vodka works the same way. It's just that I'm in the Middle East so I'll use oil. Of course, don't forget the corners too. And also the ones on top. When you're done, you can now assemble the whole cake. I'm adding this graduation cap and a certificate on top of the cake. If you want to learn how we created this graduation cap and certificate, please watch our previous video. I have a detailed tutorial on how we created this. As an added decoration, I'm going to add some gold balls around the cake. What I did was I have a styro ball and then cover the whole styro ball with the fondant and then paint over it using edible gold. One by one, put your styro balls around the cake. Uh, I'm using a small scissor to help with the precision. Now you just have to decide where you want the styro balls to be placed. When you're putting uh, non-edible items on the cake, like these styro balls, always make sure to inform the client so that they won't have to complain later on. Because as you know, children love to eat everything that they see on the cake, so yeah. So that's how we make a graduation cake. If you like our video tutorial for today, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!